Hello viewers, welcome back to the show. And we did another book review, which is the blob that ate everyone. Yeah. I do not like the UK print of this book. Look at it. Yes, the cover is cool, but the bubbles. The bubbles, man. Why are the bubbles overcoming the Tim Jacobus books? These covers are god. I mean, I mean, they're really great covers. They're awesome. And these horrible bubbles cover it. Why? Why, you can Stop doing the the bubble thing for the thousand time. Stop with the bubbles. Kids are not going to buy this stuff if uh, the bubbles keep appearing throughout all the covers. Yeah. Okay, enough reading about the cover, about how bad it is because of the bubbles. Let's talk about how good this book is because this book is really well written by Arl Stein. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry, stop for the lines. Anyways, uh, yeah, this book was actually made to an episode. Yeah. And the blob in that episode wasn't that great. I reckon, I kind of prefer the book more than the episode himself. I mean, self Why did I say himself? Sorry, guys. Uh, the, I was wondering, why did they put the blob in the movie? I mean, yeah, the blob is a big monster, but you have a blob already. Monster blood. It has four books. More famous than the blob. I mean, Letterman, Mr. I mean, Mr. Rob Letterman, why did you not? Why did you put the blob in the movie, but not monster blood? I mean, seriously, dude. That part needs to be rearranged instead of the blob between the monster blood. That's way better than the than King Joy Jam or the blob or the blob. So, anyways, um, what's the book about? So we got this kid named Zaki. He is terrified of. Pretty much almost everything, but he still wants to be a horror writer like Arl Stein. <laughs> and then uh, he has these two friends, uh, Alex and Adam. Adam, I have zero idea why he's even friends with Zaki because he keeps on annoying him. He keeps, he keeps saying his uh, stories are lame. He keeps, uh, I mean, yeah, he's acting like a friend, but to me, he's not really a friend. I, I still don't think, I, don't, I still don't know why he's even friends with him, anyways, in the first place. Oh well, I explained. There's also these two other kids that are friends with Adam, but not Zaki or Alex. And uh, those two friends were not in the episode. I forgot who they were, but the I, for, I forgot their names. But the yeah, they were in the book, but not in the episode, which was good because I do not think they actually belong in the episode. They're kind of pointless. Speaking of pointless, there's a whole section in the book where we're in school. And that part could be cut unnecessary filler. Yeah, that, that part was really filler. Uh, so, what's next after that? So, after telling the story to Adam and Alex, Zaki and Alex go to a store and then... And they pretty much check it out. It's actually been burned off by lightning and there's pretty much... Uh, and this whole scene reminds me of the scene from the, uh, the Haunted Guitar. Remember that story? The story in more and more tales to give you goosebumps that I reviewed? The one with the guitar and a ghost tongue that's playing with it. Yeah, that part kind of reminds me of this book's part. Yeah, I don't know why, but I think Arl Stein kind of re reused that part for the new story in TLC Movies Bumps Special Edition 5. So anyways, uh, they go inside, next they find a typewriter, and next Zaki touch on, touches it, and next he like... <laughs> and then he just dies. <laughs> And, you know what, I think they died, but he didn't die, of course. Because if he did die, then uh, what else would be the purpose of the, purpose of the story? So, we, they meet this woman named Mr. Carter, and then uh, she just gives gives the typewriter to them. And just and she's like, just take it, just take it, take it, take it. And then they just take it, and, and they leave. And it's for free. And uh, in the book, uh, Mr. Car Mrs. Carter gives them a, a pen. But in the episode, uh, they didn't give them a pen. So, Zaki is writing this story called The Blob Monster. He he loves horror stories, though. Even though he's afraid of technically everything. I kind of like Zaki because even though I like horror stories, I do have to admit I'm afraid of a bunch of other stuff like like big dogs or or monsters. <laughs> Some other stuff like that. But I still like the monsters even though I'm afraid of the monsters if I come across them. So anyways, um, he starts writing these stories about the, the blob monster, and then strange stuff start happening, there's thunder around, there's uh, 
the dad and the mom are gone, and then um, you don't know what the heck is going on. And then uh, I'll leave it at this. About the blob thing, well, it kind of shows up towards the end of the book, uh, and um, it's just um, not really interesting for the blob. I like the blob, but I'm not really fond of its appearance. The fact it only came at the end of the book was really not that good. <laughs> Good. It's kind of like the mummy's appearance from Curse of the Mummy's Tomb, or the mud monster from You Kind of Scare Me. I mean, why does Arl Stein keep using the best parts and putting them at the end of the story? I mean, us, the reader, are really, really want to see... I mean, this is how I want to see in You Kind of Scare Me. I want to see a story about mud monsters, but... But really, the mud monsters appear at the end of the story, and it's not that good. <laughs> Spoiler, the book is bad. <laughs> So, yeah, the book was really good, but the ending, no, 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 it's not good. I mean, technically, I think to me, the chapter 33 should be deleted. I mean, they should end off the story with chapter 32, and then just, uh, if, I do not want that ending to be there. I mean, it was a really good book, why? Why does our sign have to put uh, a terrible ending on chapter 33? So that's all I can say about the blob that ate everyone. Really good book. Highly recommend this one. Uh, Michael Guzman's fan. Michael Guzman's fan, if you're watching this video, please read the blob that ate everyone. Um, I know you watched the episode, but yeah, you gotta read the book. It's really good. Really, really good. That's all I can say. Next book review, Monster Blood 3, and let's see how that turns out. So long, guys.